What's up, shooters? My name is Logan, aka Spider Hands, and welcome to SB Reviews. Where today um, we're going to be checking out a track by an artist named K.R. Paris titled Out of This World. Without further ado, we're going to switch over to here on uh, SoundCloud and we're going to. Man, 181 um, followers for two tracks. That's pretty good. We're going to listen to this track from start to finish. Got the album out here and we're going to hear what we think. Oh. Oh, got a bit of that uh, vocal modulation there. That's nice. I'm liking. Hey. All right, cool. Cool, we're relying on that vocal melody to sort of introduce us and we're not just going straight into the rap. I like it. I'm assuming this is hip hop. All right, cool. Yeah, look, look. I will admit that initially when I heard the amount of effects on that vocal chain, I was worried that I might not understand what K.R. Pierce was saying, but I, I can. I think that the production on this is is tight and it's been thoroughly considered. You know, the the, the low bass, the bass, the bass, the the drums are 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 clear in the mix. It's very well delivered. I'm too cocky, I ain't ASAP Rocky. Hold on. <laughs> I'm too cocky, I ain't ASAP Rocky. Like Riri, I got it in my okay. Hold on. I put that hair on that bitch. And them nails on that bitch. With that bag, I'm the shit. That's it. Yeah. Somebody think my shit. She gon' ride and hold that shit. That's it. Yeah. And yeah. then with her. Yeah. Drop that tie. Yeah. I'm too hot. I like the piano. The sort of distorted kind of crunchy piano tone that's going with the bass and the drums. I, it's it's a really interesting tonality. It adds a little bit of suspense and a little bit of um, a little bit of mystique to this. Party with the hoes. Fucking me for show. Hey, nice triplet run. This guy's got te this guy's got bars and he's also got um technique. Like that's not an easy thing to deliver clearly. That that's not that's not an easy thing to deliver clearly, but he did. Rolling around the Rolls Royce, she ain't got no choice. Okay, cool. We're rolling out with the instrumental. All right, I can. I understand. I think I understand what's going on here. Cool. All right, all right, I can roll with this. I think I kind of understand what's going on in this track. Basically, he's talking about his success, sort of like where he's going with his rap, the people he's met, the woman he's with, and their boyfriends who they said adios to. Uh, yeah, I get it. I, I think I understand it. It's a very sort of simple, accessible sort of tale that I think a lot of people will be able to sort of get behind because who, who doesn't love a success story, right? Uh, well done to KR Paris for providing this in this sort of format. I think... I think that the 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 drums and the bass back up the swagger really well. And that piano adds a little bit of color in the lower mid and a little bit of sort of sophistication to this run 
that balances out that confidence. You know, it doesn't make it just seem like a brag track. It makes it seem like he truly is having an out of this world experience. It's 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 really cool. It's nice to hear. It's nice it's nice to hear someone rapping who sort of knows kind of where the equilibrium is meant to be in terms of their bread up the music and their their lyrics. Um, as I mentioned before, the guy obviously has bars. Um, he told a really an, an interesting story. It it was it was a it was actually a very mature take on it. You know, at times I think just part of the contemporary rap, hip hop sort of trap stuff that's going on at the moment is having a lot of that vocal modulation and then kind of had a then a day like kind of sort of being very gentle with some of those consonants, but that's fine because it's a stylistic thing and it sounded good and I completely understand why it's in there. Um, it did not affect my ability to sort of hear what he was talking about. He's a good rapper and uh, I'm not sure whether he was what, you know, because like you get giga rap, some rappers produce their own music and some rappers don't. I don't know if K.R. Pierce does or not, but either way, fantastic effort. And if he was, if he got had someone else helping him to produce the music, they did a great job. The minimalism in the production allowed him to spin a tail that was full of little fu- little surprises, and it was altogether a very sort of um, strong single. As a first impression, I think having it sub three minutes was a smart idea. I think that K.R. Paris said what he wanted to say in, in, in that space of time. I'm not sure how, if it would have benefited from having an extra minute in there. And having a hook verse and then a hook and like a through compo- like a 16 bar hook, or 32 bar chorus, sorry. What am I talking about? 32 bar verse allows you, gives you plenty of time to, to say what you got to say. But but that that is my review of KR Paris. All in all, a pretty, pretty sort of stellar effort. I, I wish him the best of luck in future. I think that it'd be interesting to see what he would do in a sort of a situation where he had an EP, uh, you know, whether he would... What you know? What would he do? Like, would he continue to talk about this kind of thing? Would he talk about other stuff, other sort of co- concepts similar to it, or does he just want to kind of stick with singles? These are things we'll find out if we keep an eye out for him. So please do uh, check out K.R. Paris's various social medias, and also please check out his uh, you know SoundCloud and give him a bit of love. You know, although I think, judging by the uh, the fans he's got off of two tracks, he's already doing pretty well. But please go go check him out. I show some support for, your, uh, for for the artists and musicians out there at this point in time as they're having a bit of a rough time. And uh, stay cool and stay safe. And uh, thank you for watching this review. I'll catch you all on the next episode, next review. See you later. Spider hands out.